This country is often referred to as the land of blue domes due to the prevalence of vibrant blue domes in its architecture. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Uzbekistan, a fascinating Central Asian country with a rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning geography. Join us and stay to the end to learn about what this country has to offer. Uzbekistan is a landlocked country located in Central Asia, with a territory covering 447,400 square kilometers, or 172,742 square miles. It is the 56th largest country in the world by area. Uzbekistan borders Kazakhstan and the Aral Sea to the north, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan to the east, Afghanistan to the south, and Turkmenistan to the west. About 80% of Uzbekistan's terrain consists of plains and deserts, while mountain ranges cross the country's eastern borders. Let's explore some key aspects of Uzbekistan's diverse geography. Uzbekistan can be divided into three main natural regions based on terrain and elevation. The western and central regions of Uzbekistan consist of the Turan Lowland Plain, with elevations below 300 meters or 984 feet. This hot and dry region contains the Kizil Kum Desert as well as irrigated agricultural areas near rivers. The east of Uzbekistan is mountainous, with ranges like the Nuratau and Zarevshan Mountains featuring higher peaks over 4,500 meters or 14,763 feet in elevation. Between these desert plains and high mountains lies the Fergana Valley, an agriculturally fertile region surrounded by mountain ranges over 3,000 meters or 9,842 feet high. The diverse terrain shapes Uzbekistan's climate, vegetation, and settlement patterns. Despite low annual rainfall, Uzbekistan has significant water resources from rivers and lakes. The country has over 100 identified rivers, with the AMU Daria and Sir Daria being the largest. These rivers flow from mountain glaciers and support extensive irrigation networks that provide water for Uzbekistan's cotton and cereal agriculture. Large-scale reservoirs like Charvak, Tuyabugus, and Shakimardan augment river water supplies while also enabling hydroelectric power generation. Uzbekistan also contains part of the shrinking Aral Sea, although diversion of feeder rivers for cotton irrigation has caused dramatic losses in the Aral's water level and surface area since the 1960s. The predominant ethnic group in Uzbekistan is the Uzbeks, making up around 80% of the total population of 33 million people. Uzbeks have historical roots in Turkic nomadic tribes that settled Central Asia between the 1st and 13th centuries AD. Besides Uzbeks, there are several sizable minority ethnicities. Tajiks comprise around 5% of citizens, concentrated in Samarkand, Bukhara, and the Sirksandario region. Other groups include Russians, Tatars, Kazakhs, Karakalpaks, and a small number of Koreans. Overall, Uzbeks form a majority demographic profile across most of the country. Around 90% of Uzbekistan's citizens identify as Muslim, mostly adhering to the Sunni branch. Islam came to Central Asia beginning in the 8th century AD. Besides Islam, other sizable religious minorities in Uzbekistan include Eastern Orthodox Christians, Protestants, Jews, and others. While constitutionally a secular state, Uzbekistan is deeply influenced by its Islamic cultural heritage. However, strict state control over religious institutions limits more conservative or fundamentalist Islamic movements from gaining ground. The Uzbek language is part of the Turkic family and serves as the shared mother tongue for Uzbek and other ethnic minorities across Uzbekistan. As a former Soviet Republic, Russian is still widely used in government institutions, 
higher education, and urban centers. Many business and cultural exchanges involve using both Uzbek and Russian languages. Tajik Persian is also natively spoken among Tajik minority populations. With influences from the ancient Silk Road, combined with nomadic culinary traditions, Uzbek food offers a delicious diversity of flavors. Here are some signature dishes that give Uzbekistan its distinct cuisine. First up, Akichuk, a hearty meat, vegetable and noodle soup spiced with chili peppers and garlic. This soup is bursting with taste and is often considered Uzbekistan's national dish. Legend says it was created to fuel warriors heading to battle with nutrients and warmth from its bone broth base mixed with hearty ingredients. Another beloved staple is manti, tasty steamed dumplings stuffed with lamb, onions, and spices. These bundles of flavor are typically served topped with garlic sauce and sour cream or in a broth soup. Their petite size makes manti perfect as appetizers or a dim sum style meal. Then there's chuchvara, pan-fried meat dumplings with a crispy, juicy exterior enveloping seasoned lamb or beef. Chuchvara make for quintessential Uzbek street food or late night snacks, often sold from food carts. Their crispy skin gives way to a burst of savory juices when you bite into the soft filling. Obi non flatbread has accompanied many meals in Central Asia for centuries and remains popular in Uzbek homes today. This simple bread, traditionally baked in clay ovens, is the perfect vehicle for dipping into rich stews and sopping up flavorful sauces. Uzbekistan has a rich history shaped by its strategic location along the famous Silk Road trading route. Numerous kingdoms and empires have ruled over the region's cities and oases for over 2,500 years. Let's explore some key eras and events in Uzbekistan's long history. The first major settlements in what is now Uzbekistan emerged around 500 BC. Agricultural communities developed around oasis areas while nomadic herding was common in desert regions. Between the 8th and 3rd centuries BCE, Uzbekistan fell under Achaemenian rule as part of the Persian Empire. This was followed by conquests by Alexander the Great and later Seleucid kings and the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom. From around 100 BE to 1000 CE, Uzbekistan sat along the developing overland Silk Road trading network between China, India, and Europe. Merchants set up posts in cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva, bringing economic prosperity. The Arab conquest of Central Asia brought Islam to the region in the 8th century CE. Over the next centuries, parts of modern Uzbekistan were controlled by caliphates based in Baghdad. The Persian Samanid Empire later took control. Islamic architecture, art, and science thrived in cities like Samarkand, under patronage. The Mongol invasions in the early 1200s devastated parts of Central Asia. Rule by Timur in the late 1300s brought a revival. The expansion of Russian control during the 1800s gradually absorbed Uzbekistan into the Russian Empire. Central Asia saw economic development, but also repression under Soviet policies after the Communist Revolutions in 1917. During this era, Uzbekistan's modern borders were defined as the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic. Independence came in 1991 after the dissolution of the weakened Soviet Union. As one of 15 Union Republics under the USSR, Uzbekistan's economy emphasized central planning, industrialization, and communal farming. Cotton dominated agriculture due to state quotas and irrigation networks expanded harvests across arid lands through the 1960s. But eventually, soil salinization and pollution hurt yields. Since independence in 1991, Uzbekistan has slowly transitioned from communism towards free market policies, 
by privatizing state-owned enterprises. But economic ties and trade with Russia and other former Soviet countries still shape business relationships. From copper, gold, uranium ores to massive natural gas reserves, Uzbekistan's diverse mineral deposits promise future prosperity. Just look at these stunning murals depicting the country's resource endowments and production heritage. Uzbekistan also claims to have the fourth largest reserves of gold in the world. Combine this with reserves of silver, zinc, tungsten, and other precious metals buried under its soil, and this country has some shiny economic hopes ahead. Today, its GDP sits at $69 billion. Uzbekistan is a country defined by its beautiful architecture, seen across intricate mosaic tiles, towering minarets, and magnificent mosaic structures. Shaped by Persian, Arab, and Turkic cultural influences over centuries, Uzbekistan's architecture tells a captivating historical story from ancient times to today. Some of the world's best surviving examples of early Islamic architecture sprawl across Uzbekistan's famous Silk Road cities of Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva. Flourishing from the 8th to 17th centuries, under dynasties like the Timurids, mosques, madrasas, mausoleums, and ornate public buildings, featured stunning geometric mosaics on turquoise tiled exteriors and towering, intricate minaret spires that drew the eye skywards. The Registan Square in Samarkand stands out as a majestic architectural treasure showcasing this golden era of Uzbek design. 20th century Soviet urban planning and social housing dominates parts of Tashkent and other large cities, adding utilitarian communist blocks juxtaposing older neighborhoods. But some Soviet-era buildings exemplified avant-garde creativity, like the brutalist palace of international forums. Since independence, Tashkent's modern cityscape has expanded with contemporary styles, like the National Bank headquarters oval shape, resembling Uzbek folk art motifs. Conserving Uzbekistan's architectural abundance remains vital for tourism and posterity. Restored sites like the ancient cliff dwellings in the desert outskirts of Kiva and Bukhara's Old City display preservation efforts helping UNESCO protect Uzbekistan's sites for future generations. Meticulous mosaic tile repair supports traditional artisan techniques survival as well. From antiquity to today, Uzbekistan's structural beauty visually shares a national legacy with the world. If you enjoyed this video on Uzbekistan, you'll love this next one.